Happy Teacher Tuesday! If I'm familiar, my name's Miss Bree, an early childhood education teacher. Make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button under the screen and let's see what's on our schedule for today. Today we will be doing a baking segment. We will be baking homemade macaroni and cheese. Mmm. So delicious and creamy and cheesy. Yum. Well, that's how you make my favorite macaroni and cheese recipe. It's one of my favorite foods, and it might be yours too. I've used this recipe a lot, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Kids love to help on what you feel comfortable based on their age and skill level, have them stir the cheese mixture, measure out the pasta, or other recipe instructions. Let's get started. For macaroni and cheese, you will need macaroni noodles, eggs, milk, seasonings, salt, paprika, pepper, heavy whipping cream, three types of cheeses, sharp cheddar, smoked cheddar, and Colby Jack. For baking supplies and utensils, you will need either a nine inch pie pan or double the recipe and you will need a nine by 13 baking dish. With a strainer, cheese grater, measuring cups, and a cooking pot. First, you will grease with either butter or oil your 9x13 baking dish. I'm using the 9x13 because I want to share it with my family and I want some leftovers. I put in the description below the two recipes, one for the 9x13 baking dish and the other for the 9 inch pie pan. After you will set it aside. Next you will grate two cups of each cheese. You can buy pre-shredded cheese to save time. I prefer to grate cheese from a block because one, it's fresher tasting without added ingredients. Two, you save money. You can grate twice as much cheese for the same price of pre-shredded cheese. And three, it doesn't melt as well. In one container, I will combine the sharp cheddar and the Colby Jack in. In another container, I will put the smoked cheddar in. This is the cheese you will top it off with. You can skip this cheese if the child does not like it. Not all children may enjoy the smoky flavor to it. Let's get shredded. cheesy mess I made. I'm gonna put the containers of cheese in the refrigerator until I need them next and now it's time to cook the macaroni noodles. An adult will cook three cups of dry macaroni noodles in a large pot of salted water. After seven to eight minutes you will strain the macaroni noodles where they are just under al dente. Still firm, but not crunchy, because we are going to bake the macaroni noodles in the oven as well. Now we will add the macaroni noodles to the baking dish. Y using three cups of dry pasta, it cooks and doubles in size, so we made about six cups. Spread it all around. Hmm. 
Now we will set it aside. For the cheese mixture, you will combine three and a half cups of milk, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and all the cheeses except for the smoked cheddar. So the Colby Jack and the sharp cheddar. The smoked cheddar will be sprinkled on top. And you will stir it all together. Now add paprika, salt, and pepper to taste. And four eggs that I've scrambled together. and stir well. Now it's time to pour the cheese mixture over the macaroni. Mm. You're just going to want to spread it around evenly as best as you can. You will top it off with some smoked cheddar. <laughs> some more salt to go on top, a little paprika, and some pepper. And you will bake it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes on 350 degrees. After 40 to 45 minutes, you will take it out of the oven. It will be jiggly, but firms up as it cools off. Broccoli and peas makes a colorful and healthy side dish. Mmm. So delicious and creamy and cheesy. Yum. Well, that's how you make my favorite macaroni and cheese recipe. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not. And I will see you next time on Teacher Tuesday.